to the end here. Sagittarius. Let's take these numbers away. Sagittarius, this reading is for you. Oh, you are welcome for that reading. Yes. Thank you. Sagittarius. So, tell me a little bit about yourself, Sagittarius. Are you rocking those boots really nicely? I don't know why that just popped in my mind. But uh, maybe it's because of a Sagittarius that I used to know. She had... Uh, back in Toronto. <laughs> she was very fashionable. All right. Sagittarius. I had Sagittarius male friends too. Not many. One of few. But Sagittarius woman, yes, I've, I've known some Sagittarius women. So, Sagittarius, for the week, August 29th, this card, these cards are for you. Sagittarius, and guess what else we need, Sag? We need three cards, two cards. I'm going to try to shuffle these as best as I can, because no matter how much I shuffle, we always seem to get the same cards. And this is when you think to yourself, wow. This is a this is a little bit of fate, right? I want to shuffle these key cards really good. Make sure because, like I said, we've been getting a lot of cards. Similar. Here we go. Four. Five. Six. And let's put these away. Ready, Sagittarius? Put down your guitar and uh, listen up. Got the world in front of you. Coming from a place of thinking decisions. Beautiful card again. It's uh, the last card in the Major Arcana. Oh, in the whole tarot deck, actually. Yeah. Well, no, the Major Arcana. Yeah, because 21. We have 78 in the whole deck. And another Major Arcana card, the Moon. So coming from a place of emotion, thinking about things. And uh, sometimes, like I said, sometimes thinking is overrated a little bit too much. It looks like a... It deals with love here this week. Turn it away. You got the world in front of you. That's a good place to be. You're in a good situation. You're in about to come to the beginning of another journey. So this journey will take you to new places. Maybe a new love. Maybe that's what you need. I don't know. Or maybe a passion that you've had and it no longer serves your your thirst it does you know whether it's uh, playing the guitar or doing something else maybe turning yourself on but let's see what these cards reveal okay if you've picked number four Sagittarius this should be a little bit more for you self-reflection and uh, again with the self-imprisonment I'm uh, you saw me shuffle these cards, right? I'm just amazed at how many people, how many, I think almost every sign has gotten uh, self-imprisonment. But we know what it means if you've been watching the other ones, but I'll tell you right now, it's uh, you're, uh, 
you're you're your own keeper. You've got the keys to your imprisonment, unless unless of course you're in a real prison and you don't have the key. But uh, if you're Houdini, maybe well Houdini was accomplices. They gave him keys. He didn't just magically got out of prison. But the prison in your mind, right? It's an illusion. Put it aside. Yeah, whatever's holding you back from going on to the next journey, just just take that chain away from you. Reflect upon it. You, maybe you've been a little bit of a hermit, Sag. I know some Sag can be away in their room and just be to themselves. Just uh, maybe it's time to come out. All right, Sagittarius. Maybe right now it's time to come out. Go on that journey that you need to go. Self imprisonment. I see it as over here. Right. Perhaps you've been thinking about things, wondering, crying to the moon, howling to the moon, thinking about things. Enjoy it. All right? That is for you, Sagittarius, if you picked number four. Let's put number four away. What about, well, what about, what about if Sagittarius, what if, what if you picked number five? Well, here we go. Number five. Sagittarius. Number five, determination to victory. Absolutely. Yes. And I see this with this card right here. Right? Maybe you are tired of something. Maybe you are tired of something. You have to be determined. And you are determined. Because that's a fire sign, Sagittarius. You're a fire sign. And you want to go into the next realm. Did we pick number four? We Number four, by the way. Just to go back on number four. Yes, I don't think I talked about what plane you were on. You were on the mental plane and the plane of thought, taking action. So let's go back to, this just means put your heart into it, put your, put your mind into it, write things down, all right? Self-imprisonment, write down what is making you self-imprisonment. Here, of course, the number five is on the will and the heart. And you've got the love life here. So Sagittarius, determination to victory and the love life a new world, a new beginning. I see it right there because it's not the end. It's about to begin. And it's about to begin after you take this step. And that's the way I see it. Determination to victory. It might be a new hobby. Who knows? Maybe you want to do some stand-up comedy. I don't know. And maybe you should. You've got a lot on your mind. Put your heart into it. Remember, this is the heart line emotional don't be cold be emotional emotional in a good sense put your heart into it put that away what if you're Sagittarius and you pick number six well we got your cards for you morality and vitality and that is on the action plane and the practical plane so you've been thinking about life, the world, maybe it's time that you make a turn. Maybe it's time you put, start a new project. Morality is, of course, the high priest. And the high priest institutions, whatever you may be in. Not that you're in an institution, but the word just came in my mind. Maybe you are, I don't know. But Have some uh, some concrete rules about it. All right. Number six is the practicality, which was what we talked about in taking action. So yeah, have some rules, and uh, I'm getting the impression of rules for you, Sagittarius, because uh, maybe some rules is needed. Maybe uh, you need to write some rules. Vitality is a great card. That's the sun, new beginning, a child coming in. Of course, it's coming in. You're turning around to look for another, and so you're getting a new experience. Vitality is the sun coming in on a brand new horse, brand new beginning for you, all right? The world and vitality. Yes. The new world. Morality. Maybe write things down. That is it for 4, 5, and 6, and the grid, and what is Sagittarius's lucky numbers? Let's take a look. Sagittarius. 
your lucky number for this year. Of course, that's not your birthday, Sagittarius. If you want one with your birthday, I do them. Oh, what a, what a coincidence. So this is for the month of 11th, the day 22, and 2022. You notice there's a lot of 20s in this. So these are your lucky numbers, Sagittarius, for the year. Just in general, Sagittarius. Not for you personally. All right? I generate these included in part of the readings. And... Uh, the reason why I call them magic numbers is because every single horizontal row adds up to 75. Every vertical row adds up to 75. I'll explain that more later. But for now, let's take away. Let's go away with that. We did the vitality cards. Sagittarius, this was your reading. I hope you loved it. I hope you got something out of it for this week. And uh, let's begin with the next one. We say goodbye to Sagittarius. And we say hello to Capricorn. Hello, Capricorn. How are you?